Hi. Brand new Camelon. All right, all right, all right. This is gonna be fun. We've never given away two hundred dollars before, right? What's up, guys? It's Sean from Winnington Warriors, and today we're gonna do a day in a life on a Saturday. We gotta do two fronts and chameleon on this. Kia Sorrento, get the day started. Coffee's still kicking in, still sleeping, but we're gonna be okay. I didn't win, but I'm glad that the people that did win won. And we'll do it again next time. I'm gonna first start by applying the dryer sheet to the outside of the windshield. This car is extremely clean because my detailer just coated it in ceramic, so he's gonna be a little upset with me that I'm making a mess on it, but he had to work on it first with the way the schedule was, so gotta do what you gotta do. We're doing a sunset red chameleon. On the outside of here, you can get rolls of it or partial pieces of it from windowtentsupplies.com. Cheaper than the competitors, same quality. And in this video, I highly recommend that you stick around. I'm gonna say Tint Wiz a certain amount of times in this video. And there's gonna be a link down in the description. And whoever guesses or counts, it's not a guess. Whoever correctly counts the amount of time I say Tint Wiz in this video is gonna have a chance to win $200 Amazon gift card. $200. If you want now, go back to the beginning of the video and start counting how many times I say Tint Wiz because every time I say Tint Wiz, you should be counting. Tint Wiz, Tint Wiz, Tint Wiz. Now Tint Wiz says that this is getting 20%, so that's what we're gonna do. Roll the window down to get a grip on the top of the panel. There we go. Release that clip from the door panel after, after we're done tinting. We'll put it back in the door panel so that we can put it back together properly. Very easy to bottom load these. We don't have a lot of appointments today. It took an easy day, it's been a very busy week, but I still like to get things done fast. Because the faster you get done with work, the more you can enjoy your personal life, and the faster you make money. That one stayed in place this time. So we do the inside prep, soapy water, razor, wipe it down, grab the tint, lay it on the outside, spray, squeegee spray, tint whiz, and install. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. It's we have never given away $200 before, right? I don't know, but it's just gonna keep going up. So the more you guys watch, the more engagement we have. The whole key is to get you to watch the video longer so YouTube likes us more, so that more people like you that benefit from our videos can learn about Window Tent Warriors and start learning. <coughs> Tim <Tintless. clears throat> And who's gonna be the ultimatum to counting exactly how many Tim Wizzes there are in this video? It's gonna be Ernesto. He's gonna be sitting there at the computer Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll put a video of him editing this video. Tin whiz. Chicken wing, chicken wing. Hot dog and balloon. We are going live on our last car today. You guys aren't gonna see this, obviously, until it's posted, but just so you know, when you do see this, keep this as a note. We go live on TikTok quite a bit. Maybe on average every three days, if you put it all together and count the days and how many times we do it. Sometimes we do it three days in a row. Make sure you follow us on TikTok, Window Tent Warriors. Turn on your notifications, that way when we do go live, that way when we do go live, what the hell was that? You'll get the notifications and you'll be able to watch us. There's some weird people in those comments. <laughs> what car do you guys drive? I got that new Nunya. I'm your business. <laughs> Make sure you guys visit windowtintsupplies.com for all your window tinting tool and film needs. We ship quick and we try to have the best prices possible. Windowtintsupplies.com. I like to do the quarter glasses first because if anything pops up on them while doing the other windows, I can touch them up after. And she goes. I'll let that sit a little bit. Put on the other one to come over with the heat gun. I want to mount that in place before I try to work that little tension finger down. I don't want it to move when I go to squeegee it. So we have two areas where we're getting pushed back in the front and the top corner. To work around this, I like to mount the film in place before I lay down those areas. So I use a little bit of heat just to get the film tacked into place while I squeegee it. Make sure it's not moving on me. It didn't move a little bit. Without creasing it. There we go. So now we're tacked into place. Got my tri-edge pink card. And just like that. 
So if the film was not tacked into place before we did this, the film would definitely move from the pressure. Try edge into the side. These back edges, when installing, tend to be really tight, so I'm gonna open them up with the tri edge and spray some soapy water between the glass and the gasket just to open it up and lubricate the area. Then I'll do my spray squeegee spray. Gotta check tint whiz and see when the next car comes here because the receptionist isn't in today and other appointments are coming for other employees. So gotta make sure I stay on my tip top toes. Front bottom corner in first. Slide in forward, back corner down. Pull the center in. Shimmy this into place. When these cars with tight gaskets, I like to keep it moving. Because once you stop, that pressure from the gasket on the tint gets it to start sticking. It's kind of like a squeegee. I like to make sure my top corners are fully dried as much as possible before that rolling them up. Very nice. Go ahead and pop this gasket back in. I'll do the other side and then we'll get to the windshield. We will need a trim tool for the other side to get that clip that stayed into the door. It's weird. Jason's not here with the blow dryer or the vacuum or the whoosh, 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 whoosh. It doesn't feel right. Tint whiz, tint whiz, tint whiz. Install. Same as the other side, front corner in first. Bring it down, forward, and down. Bring it back now, y'all. Main key is making sure there's no gap on the back edge. We're good. Top edge as tight as possible with the pre-cut. Super easy. How many times have we said tint whiz so far? Put it right here, blurred. <laughs> Keep everything symmetrical. Whatever you do on one side, you do on the other. Pulling the door panel away so I don't hit it with direct heat. Wiping it down so I don't get yelled at by you guys. Looks great. Looks good, looks great, looks great, looks tint whiz. Gasket back in, but what do we have to do first? Before we put the panel back on, we gotta, oh, it was the other side that had the clip. We gotta pop that back. Gotta roll it down. Oh my God, don't worry, your windows down for two days. Not when window tint warriors tints them. Silly me. Just like new. Point zero zero nine American line single edge blades. Chuck tint whiz. See when the next appointment is coming. Eight o'clock. First wash and paint protection film checkups on a new job. Don't want to get it too hot. Once it starts going through the glass, it should be good enough for the adhesive to release. In most states, I'm only sure about New York, white vinyl tape around the border of the windshield so that we can then cut without damaging the glass. Chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and bologna, chicken and macaroni, tint whiz with my homies. Hi. Brand new Camelon. All right, all right, all right. So I'm cutting right on top of the tape, I'm not cutting through the tape. Definitely miss, mismeasured with my uh, tape line over here. I cut it a little bit too big. I'm gonna have to shave some of that off. To do that, I'll use a different blade on the glass. That way I don't just cut the glass at all because I have these 30 degree blades and they are extremely sharp and it will cut the glass. That's why I cut on the tape with those. But if I do have to cut on the glass, I use the regular Olfa stainless steel blades. Very light pressure. I'm gonna use a Teflon card because there's a lot of dirt on the window and I don't wanna rip the film. This card is soft, it's not a hard plastic one, so any debris it runs over that's between the film and the glass, it'll just glide over it, it won't drag it. Which if you use a hard card, it would rip the film. Windowtintsupplies.com. Shirking my way downtown, making my way to the bottom of the glass. Do -do 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 -do. With this chameleon, you can't heat up one area too hot because then you'll get blistering. Heat it nice and evenly. 
Don't rush the process. Trust the process. Whee! In some situations, the felt card isn't hard enough to lay the film down like it needs to, and it could cause a crease if you don't push hard enough. So that's why I just had to pull the black card out right there. I had to whip it out real quick. Show that finger who's boss. Take a sip of coffee. I'm gonna spray the perimeter. I squeeze you around the perimeter to remove any contaminants that could drip into the glue side, which we do not want at all. Lather it up with some soapy water. Pop this edge up, roll it up nice and tight. Lay this right here. Rope goes down, use a paddle to stuff it in. Take the watch off so we don't scratch the glass. Apple Watch Ultra will scratch the window. If you haven't watched any of my other videos where I advise you to be careful with them, now you know. JK. Grab our piece, we have the release liner detached, but water between the release liner and the film. Release the release liner, stick it to the roll, and reverse roll it. On she go. Work around the mirror and the cameras, making sure the bottom Making contact with the window, you don't want it to be touching the dashboard. And spray a little bit more soapy water to lubricate the window. That way our hands and the squeegees don't stick to it. Get an initial tack. Make our final adjustments. As you squeegee, it will still continue to move if you have enough soapy water in your bottle. So I like to get this initial tack done, position it perfectly in place. And then I'll go at it with the orange crush with the handle. Timbers. Side swiper across the bottom. I'm gonna start this up, wipe the water residue off the dashboard. I like to get the tint rope from down here as quickly as possible. As it sits, gravity can pull water out of it onto the components that we're looking to protect in the beginning. I'll turn on the defrost so it blows air towards the window. Got a little piece of fuzz in the window film here. We're gonna get it out easily. Got our 30 degree blade back in our knife. I'm just gonna pull this back. See it's right here. Some surgery stuff right here. It's not fully mounted in place. I turned the car off so that the AC isn't blowing anymore. And we're just gonna pull this back right to there where we can see the contamination. We'll spray soapy water so we don't get any air bubbles. Right there. Use the tip of our knife it's a very thick piece of hair, so we're gonna get it out pretty easily. Just like that. When it's a very thick piece of contamination, you can most likely get it out without any uh, consequences. Because if it's really thick, like if it's a human hair, you can just pull it out and there's nothing around it. Uh, if it was a piece of dust, like a very fine particle, then there's no getting that out. But we got lucky there. It must have been something from this panel here, which is why you always should wipe your surrounding areas before you install. Static cling can happen and it'll just fall into the film. But we got that out successfully. If you ever lift the film up, you always have to spray more soapy water because you'll have air pockets if you do not. Right, we're jumping right into the Silverado. All the doors are prepped. We're doing all sides, rear, full windshield, and a windshield strip on this Silverado. Just applying the dryer sheet to the outside. We're gonna try to get this done quick. It's 9.24 right now, and 11.30, I have another one coming. But after this, we're gonna go live on TikTok, so. Tint whiz. Cool.
So the way this Tint Wiz contest is gonna work is two weeks after this video is uploaded, well, we're gonna pick the winner, but there's gonna be a link down in the description on how to submit. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna fill out the form in the link with how many times you think Tint Wiz was said. You wanna get one chance to watch the video thoroughly because once you submit that form, that's your submission. Any submissions after that are gonna be null and void. Two weeks after the video is uploaded, we will put together a list of all the people that got it correct and then we'll spin a wheel. The winner will be chosen out of those group of people. Cause we're gonna assume that more than one person is gonna guess or not guess, but calculate the number. Only one submission per person. And we'll do the spin the wheel, just like we've done in the last giveaways. So pay attention to how many times I say tint whiz. This video is gonna be like 30 minutes. You have a chance to win $200 in 30 minutes. That's more money than you'll make tinting two front doors. Thanks to tint whiz. Tent was 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 Did that mess with you a little bit? We gotta get some copyright free music playing. Tent was productions. Squeegee spray. I always do the center one first. So water from this one goes onto the sides. You always want to pull more fast because there's static that happens. So the faster you pull it off, the less chance of static cling or creases happening. Move it a little slow today. I got a knot in my back, so it's very painful just sitting here right now. Twenty over factory twenty is five percent, almost exactly. There's a chance that a finger will pop up in the bottom, so I'm gonna leave the headrest down, and I'll come touch these up after I finish everything else. For those of you that are interested in with the one-on-one -on -one phone calls with me, it's gonna be in the link in the description of this video. Check that description. Book your phone call with me if you're interested. One hour time slot, you could pick it on the schedule. We could talk about anything you want. Business, tinting techniques. We could do a Zoom call, video call, audio call, whichever you prefer. Talk about tint whiz. Literally, we can talk about tint whiz. Beautiful, yeah. Everyone asks why I use the yellow turbo still and not a handled squeegee. I'm just so used to holding it and I feel like handled squeegees are a weird angle for me. I've been using it since, using the yellow turbo since the beginning, so it's just natural for me. So if you guys are wondering what's new in my life, I'm soon to be starting a, a hobby of woodworking <laughs> because I have this problem where if when I go home um, it's either I have to clean the house or find new businesses to start or keep excelling this one which this one's at a pretty good point right now so I'm kind of just sitting on a computer driving myself absolutely insane and on the weekends when I have nothing to do I lose my mind so I've decided to take on woodworking I'm gonna get a nice setup in my garage and that's gonna be my hobby time so that's what that's what's new with my life window tinting and woodworking dust and clean work <laughs> love it I mean this is a very detailed thing to do so I feel like that would click very well with me doing exact woodwork and building stuff that's a tint whiz approved gap right there if you guys have watched all of my day in the life videos comment down below share some feedback uh, share with me anything that you would possibly want me to include in future episodes we like to be as educational as possible but if we're too educational then it becomes boring so we try to stay entertaining and i try to show you as i talk and i just joke around but if there's anything specific that you guys want me to cover please feel free to request in the comments i read all of them bottom load master Oh yeah, Jason? Yeah, Jason? Yeah? What? Yeah? Yeah. Tent whiz? Gotta get you a tint whiz bottle. There, let's get this thing out of here. Now these windows are cut sideways, but we do still have to shrink in a very strategic manner because we have some large fingers. So make sure you guys had to use this or do this if your pattern is sideways, if it's not a shrinkable position, we just heat it a little bit, push it out, and we just kind of chase it. All we're doing is really making, forcing the adhesive to stick 
and spreading out the tension so that there's no distortion. You can't heat up too much though because you'll pinch increase the material. And that's all it takes. A large finger like that, we didn't even shrink it. We're just kind of forcing it to lay down. Tim whiz, Tim whiz, Tim whiz, Tim whiz. See that? You know what that's called? Pinky power, PP. I have a strong PP. Little stuffer down there. And then we're gonna scrape this whole window with a fresh razor blade. We still got the adhesive down there from the inspection sticker. So we gotta pay extra close attention to get all of that off. I'm gonna make sure I wipe the pillars on this one so it doesn't happen like last time where I got contamination on the edges. Anything that the film can touch. It's 35. Oh my God, that's illegal. Oh, that's gonna cost you more in tickets. Oh, my back. Whee! I need some Tint Whiz earmuffs. Oh look, a Tint Whiz mug. <laughs> tint Whiz there, Tint Whiz there, Tint Whiz there. Tint Whiz everywhere. Lunch break. Soap your water. Ah! <laughs> Soap your water. If I finish this by 10.30, I might be able to finish that full car before the one that was supposed to come before that full car is done. Did that make sense? Let's move it out, roll it up, go live on Tintwiz. I mean, TikTok. <laughs> that was an honest mistake. I'm gonna go to Starbucks and be like, can I get a venti tint whiz with three pumps of white mocha and three pumps of coffee nuts? Excuse me, sir. What the f did you just say? Tint with uh, venti. Reverse rolled. Windshield is prepped. Just wipe the rest of the outside. What do we do now? Spray, squeegee, spray. All f day. Reverse roll. Get about a foot, foot and a half off roughly. Line it up. Don't crease it. Here. The only thing with these Silverados is when you put the rope across the bottom, it's so close to the bottom of the window, it's tight down there that it's hard to get the rope out without ripping the tint out. Most of the time I solve that by heating up the window in that area and then laying it down with the tri-edge and just making sure the film's as attached to the window as possible before pulling the rope out. That way we alleviate any issues of pulling the film out off the window. We gotta do a windshield strip on this too. So I'm actually gonna heat this top edge first. I want this to be sealed up and cooled down before I install the windshield strip. That way it's not too hot while I'm working on it. I don't want the windshield strip to prematurely stick in a position that I don't want it. We heat up this area where the rope is and I'll get this to lay down. So instead of pulling the rope right now, which would cause the tint to rip off the window, I'm gonna lay this under the rope carefully without creasing it, heating the window up, then you can carefully tug the rope and the lift up. Hold on the tool. Ah! Steak. Bad. Use a little bit more heat before I pull the rope out. We really want to get that white part to lay down. Probably see how the, the film is falling off right there. We really want to get this film to lay down completely in that corner. There we go. Very, very nice. And before I pull the whole rope out, I still got to go across the bottom with the side swiper. And I'll give it a final press with the bulldozer. Good. Now this can come out carefully. Let's see how much we save the electronics. Yucky. All right, now we'll get all the dryer sheet off of the tent up here so that we can slap the windshield strip on. Then I'm gonna take this towel and push it against the bottom of the window because I don't want the water from the windshield strip to drip down. And the reason I took the rope out now because it was soaked up with so much water that it will start dripping from the rope and to the electronics. It's a big boy. 
quick air peel. Spray it as we go to relieve the static. Very careful. Zing. Oh my god, this thing is ginormous. I should have shrunk this on the outside. Looks good. Make sure there's no extra tension in the center. Start squeegeeing from the center. Out. Gonna have to shrink a couple of those fingers. Not a big deal. Or they might just stick. The whole key is to not just squeegee across the bottom or squeegee across the top, but you want to gradually work the entire entire panel over to the side. That'll stretch the fingers out and make them nice and even, and much easier to lay out. And now I'm gonna wipe the water off and start the truck and let the heat start to run to help me dry these windows up. And then I'll go over with the window cleaner and I'll be good to go. And then it's TikTok live time. So of sealing up all the edges. Clean time. Wipe all the streaks off the door panel from the water dripping. There was some kind of dressing on these door panels, so we want to even that out so there's no drip lines. Quality. It's all in the workmanship. They look good. All you gotta do is bring them up. Marker's invoice is paid in Tint Liz, and they are good to go. And on to the next Tint Liz appointment. All right, guys, that is it for this day in the life. Thank you for watching. Make sure you tune in on TikTok. Like, subscribe, comment, and fill out that form in the link below to win your $200 Amazon gift card. I'll see you next time. Tint whiz, 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 tint whi